Hey guys, Fix It John here. Uh, what we're working on today is this Rad 5. It's an e-bike. And uh, the wife uh, has been complaining the last couple times we've taken it out that uh, the uh, battery would show dead or uh, it would just quit working right here on the LCD screen. Uh, let me show you what's going on here. But yeah, th this is uh, this bike has been a little bit glitchy lately right here on the lcd screen but uh let me give you a close-up and show you what's going on all right guys so we have the key all the way on ignition first thing i noticed was uh, we had battery power it's a full battery there but uh, when you come up here to uh mode your controller here and you hit mode to turn it on nothing happens but uh, what I did notice was uh, when I hit the horn, it comes on and it's hooked up to this uh, LCD screen, this USB port here. It screws in, it uh, plugs into the back of that. So that's getting power. So what I'm going to do is see if we're getting any power through these cables here. Uh, this uh, main cable here that's running up to the LCD screen. What I'm going to use is my uh, voltmeter. All right, guys. Uh, so what we're doing now is we're going to test this plug here. And this plug is the one that runs up here to the LCD. And then uh, it goes into the LCD screen and then back to the mode button. So well, I'm going to unscrew this here and see if we're getting any power to it. This is just a shortcut. This will tell you if uh, your battery's good. It'll also tell you if your uh, controller's working. And I'll show you your controller. I have these little, I have this, uh, these little prongs here that comes with the voltmeter. And they're way too fat to fit in these little holes here. So I uh, jimmy rigged me up some uh, back probes. And they're, they're nothing fancy. They're not store-bought. They're just homemade junk, but they work. So that's all you need. You don't need anything fancy. You just need something that's going to work. Something that'll get in those pins. You don't want to damage those pins. So I'm going to... All right, so what I'm doing is I'm back probing this uh, little plug coming from the uh, controller. So what I did was I stuck my uh, uh, back probe in this first pin here and then went around all of them with my other uh, negative back probe. 52, 51, 46, and 53 volts. So we're getting plenty of voltage up through this plug. This plug, that, that wiring harness is good. Now, if we weren't getting power here, I would go further back and I might show you how to do that because it could be your battery. It could be a fuse and there's two fuses. I've had this battery out before and uh, there's two fuses in there and I'll show you how to do that. Here's your controller. But the first thing you want to do is look for loose leads anywhere here, especially this plug here. Uh, any of these uh, plugs that could be loose. And come down here and there's your controller right there but uh, we're getting voltage up there so if we weren't getting voltage up there at the handlebars uh, at the LCD screen I would come down here and start pulling plugs out but you'd want to pull these apart like this uh, big fat one here pull it apart and see if uh, you're getting juice from the battery check your other one check for power uh, coming from the battery and uh, also coming from the uh, controller. You've got a battery here and let's say uh, you, You're not getting any power down here at all Could be a fuse in your battery All right guys, we're gonna take this mode button off and all it is, is a little allen screw and just pop this off the handlebar Bam. All right guys now on this LCD screen. You have two allen screws that are ones here and the other one's right here, by the handlebar. And just pop it off the handlebars here. 
and pop it off there and there. All right, guys, I'm going to take this uh, LCD screen apart here, and that's what it looks like. I think the bike's got like seven, eight, nine hundred miles on it. So I'd read that these are pretty durable and these mode buttons usually don't go out. I don't see anything burn or melted in there. Let's take this apart here, the uh, LCD screen. Now I saw these on the line online for uh they were four speed. And this is a five speed bike. I don't know if it would uh, give it the same speed range or what, but uh, I'll find out. Let's take these screws out here. Let's pull this apart here. And that's it. It looks like a sealed unit. No way I realistically get in there and repair that. Hey guys, Fix It John here. Uh, I just took a run down to uh, Rad Power Bikes. Got me a display screen here. Yeah, $100. Uh, the reason why I went down there is uh, they had the uh, display screen. And here's the part number, I guess, maybe. 400-00182. Uh, it's just like the one I had. They had some down there just, uh, well, like I told you before, they, they had some online for a hundred bucks, but they were four speed. Uh, and I wanted a five speed. The, the guy said, uh, he said he had like four or five of them left in the box for uh, with the five speed on them. So I went down there and got it. But I did ask the service advisor, could I use a uh, four speed LCD screen? with my five speed bike. And he said I could. The only difference in the four and the five speed is the uh, the bigger shift range. So the four speed has less shifts, but a bigger shift range. So it'll still do 20, 21 mile an hour. It'll just have that one less gear, but a bigger shift range. This one here, uh, now that I know that, I probably would have just gotten it online. Would have been the same price. I did see some on Amazon. They were uh, aftermarket stuff. And uh, one that would fit it was uh, like 45 bucks. And the, uh, I think, I can't remember, but I think the, uh, the mode button was right here on the LCD screen. But they had one for like 25, $25 on Amazon too. Uh, before you go buying it on Amazon, uh, real cheap, make sure the pin, uh, pin pattern is the same. Cause that one for like $25 was, uh, that one for like $25 had a pin in the center and there's no way this would have plugged up to the, what I have now. Could not find a five speed online. I got, I went to the dealer and got it. Uh, they may be doing away with the five speed. But so if you can't get a five speed and you don't have a rad store around uh, you close, I mean, you can get it online, get, get the four or four speed. Just, it just has a wider shift range. That's all. All right, guys, let's see if we can get this thing put together. This goes over here. You just bend the, take the uh, Allen screw out and bend it open. All right, just tilt it to where you can read it. All right, I got a little better tool here. Santa brought me this, by the way. Plugging it in right now. Hitting the mode button. Boom, there you go, it's on. So I'm gonna say it was the LCD screen uh, not operating because uh, what I read was this uh, mode button works uh, pretty hard to kill it. So there we got uh, one speed going up on the up arrow button, two speed, three speed, four speed, five speed. So, you know, what the guy said, uh, if it's just a four speed, it'll still work on a five speed, just a wider uh, power, power band. That's all. 
All right, guys, if you suspect the battery, you can uh, check uh, th this plug here with your uh, multimeter. Uh, it doesn't matter which hole you put it in. 53 volt. If your battery's not taking a charge or uh, you're not uh, showing anything on your uh, multimeter, it could be uh, the fuses inside because you do have two fuses. You have a 40 amp and a 5 amp right inside here and they're kind of hidden so let me show you where they're at all right now i want to tell you there's uh little stickers on the side that say uh do not remove you avoid the warranty after a year you're beyond that warranty anyway so i wouldn't worry about it last time i uh took this battery apart this little sticker covered this bottom piece so i had to take a razor and cut it and then peel it back uh, same thing on this side and right here you'll have little tiny warning sticker saying do not remove uh, you'll avoid the warning. Uh, after i cut all this this uh sticker off this rad sticker off this piece right here i fought like the dickens to get it apart still because it was still pieced in there i mean literally i took uh took a screwdriver you can see where i pried it apart here and uh just pulled it apart and, and it took some effort i mean it was it didn't pop right off like nothing so i just want to show you inside here there's nothing wrong with it but uh and uh you want to unplug this here so you can work with it now that's what it looks like on the inside of here and the fuses are right down here uh they'll be covered with like a white uh, silicone uh cover the screws if if you suspect your battery's not working and you've already tested it with the multimeter on the back here these back uh plug holes it takes two fuses so we can take those fuses off with a screwdriver here and these were covered with that caulk too these little phillips head screws. so if you don't if you have an issue with it charging these fuses aren't just laying in here you got you got to take them apart i had to remove some uh silicone so you just pull it up and this one here is your 40 amp and it comes right out it's easily replaceable so if you're not getting any power from your battery check your fuses you have a 40 amp here and they may be obscured with that uh, putty and, and they're just housed in a little housing that's all five amps say you're working on your bike and you short it out you may blow one of these fuses check that before you take it to the dealer right there there it is guys two screws over there and two screws right here it's toused in little uh holding compartments that's all to get this battery off but if you can see down here here's the locking pin right here at the bottom and to uh lock it in place that's all the way open i have to manipulate this key because it doesn't work so hot but and you want to turn it to the right to pop that pin out see there it comes it's a little bit of an effort with this key i, I think the uh, tumblers in here are worn out or the key doesn't fit properly but that turns to the right and that's in the locking position. But to uh, reinstall it, you wanna go all the way to the left with it. There we go. Now we can either install it, uh, we can install the battery or uh, take the battery off. So let's put this cover back on it. Don't forget to plug this back in because that's how you tell the battery's still good. And line everything up. All right guys. Uh... I felt like I was sort of throwing parts at it. Uh, I, I, I did chase the power up to the end of this plug here, and uh, that's why I went and uh, replaced that LCD screen. But I tried to do one better than that and uh, find out uh, find out for sure that that uh, LCD was bad, that LCD screen was bad, because uh, I just don't want to throw parts after uh, good money after bad, so... 
So what I did was uh, this guide pin right here, that little plastic guide pin, I counted uh, uh, the pin to the left of that would be the one pin, two pin, three pin, four pin, and five pin. And that's how I tested it. Uh, I did a diode test for uh, capacitance, and uh, this is what I came up with here, guys. Uh, the new uh, LCD was on the left and the old one was on the right. What I did was I took uh, pin 1 to pin 2 and I came up with uh, 1.272 of capacitance. Uh, the 1 to 2 on the old LCD was 0 0.953. Everything else was pretty much identical. So uh, that's the only discrepancy was the 1 to 2 pin. I showed you this, the uh, new new LED and the old LED. And uh, I got the same uh, results, all but for one to two on the old LED was 0 0.953. I guess that's capacitance. So then I did a uh, same thing, but reverse polarity. And everything's uh, the same, pretty much the new one versus the old one. So that was a bust. I, I couldn't figure out what what's wrong with it. I couldn't I couldn't verify that something's wrong with this screen. But I'm gonna... all right, guys, if this uh, LCD uh, replacement helped you in any way, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys watching and uh, su subscribing. So uh, this is Fix It John. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.